The world of AI filmmaking is changing forever. It's this new industry that's blowing up and it gives the opportunity for people who want to tell creative stories and want to be a creative person to actually be able to start making creative stories that would have taken months to do things you can now do in one hour. Months to one hour, the world is about to change. I went to a comedy show. In fact, actually I was making the, the VSL for Genius AI and I had to come up with some weird shots of like an AI tool coming out of my phone to like represent like an AI co-pilot. So we had some cool shit of like a purple hologram coming out and like and showing them. And if you, if you make pictures with uh, with Mid Journey and, and you can get these badass images and if you connect, connect them with Runway ML, then you can turn those images into little video clips, short video clips that you can use for B-roll to help show them the image and the visual of a robot that's got your back, like a little R2-D2 hologram that follows you along and gives you the answers. So after I did that, I had this like, oh yeah, this is fucking cool, I can make shit. Then my friend Keith invites me to a comedy show and I'm going there and I look down and I'm texting my girlfriend and I hear this fucking voice all of a sudden. I didn't know who was playing or anything. I hear this voice, I'm like, fuck, I've heard this before. And I look up and I see this face, this voice I remember and I see this face and I remember this guy's face. I'm like, holy fuck, that's the guy from the movie Rocket Man. When I was like seven years old, there's this movie that came out called Rocket Man with this guy named Harlan Williams, who played the actor. And this guy was hilarious because he was this genius retard who would just, he was such a fucking idiot. And just, but he would just be the clutchest motherfucker ever. Just the stupidest guy who would just come through and he was so goddamn good in his skill sets that they had to bring him to this mission to Mars because no one else could do what this fucker could do even though he was completely retarded, right? And I really vibed with that energy as a kid of like being retarded but being so goddamn good at a skill set that people just desperately needed to work with you anyway. So I really vibed with him and he was absolutely hilarious and I learned a lot about, you know, just comedy as a kid from this guy. And when I saw him on stage, I was like, holy fuck, I haven't seen this guy for 20 years. This is incredible. And I watch his set and he's hilarious. And I reach out to him afterwards. I get this idea. I'm like, man, I really want to see if I can learn more comedy from him because I'd love to be more of a funny person. And I don't have any mentors in the comedy section of my life. So I reach him out. I find his email. I'm like, hey, bro. Um, I just would, hey, I'm, I'm like, would love, I learned a lot about comedy from you. I'd love to hire you about being a comedian or making me funny or whatever. You don't even have to prepare. Just yell at me, right? Just look at what I'm doing and yell at me. And he, he emails me back. He's like, yeah, sure. Send me over a link to your Instagram profile and show me what comedy you've been working on. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, dude, I didn't become a comedian. I became like a business guy. Damn it. So like they're, all my shit on my Instagram profile is like serious fucking business stuff and like spirituality, which I love, right? But there's nothing funny or nothing comedic about it. So I remember going off and like, fuck it, never mind. All right, that didn't work out. So I go to my bed and I'm just sitting there. It's like nine o'clock at night or it's, it's like, it's not nine. It's like 6.30. It's time to go to bed. I'm like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go make like a funny fucking video real quick. I just learned how to animate real quick. I go on the internet and I watch my favorite uh, comedians. I remember this joke from a guy who triggered it. I come up with a scene, I put it in a video and I make this skit of these astronauts like dying on a trip to Mars because the guy wasn't listening to what his mentor said. And uh, it's this funny little skit joke. And all of a sudden I was like, that is so fucking cool. And I make this and I send it to Harlan and he doesn't get back to me. I don't know why. Maybe he didn't check it or he didn't like it or he thought I was retarded or whatever. It doesn't matter. But as I started falling asleep that night or the next day, I was like, that was fucking super cool, right? Like I had a creative expression I wanted to get out. And with AI, I was able to make an animated cartoon super easily, like a, like a, a hilarious little funny skit that was like 30 seconds long. And it took me an hour to make this whole thing. Like AI is so dope and that would have taken never. You've never gotten that done without a huge team of animators and drawers and whatever. And with AI, it's now possible. There's so much dope creative shit coming out with AI that requires such, but it cost me like $10 to make that video, right? Like a runway subscription and a mid journey subscription and chat GBT. That was like all I used and I used the editing tool to edit the whole thing together. So for very little, Anyone can be good at these things. I just ordered a course from a course called Creative Refuge. These guys teach AI filmmaking. Cause I was like, that was dope. I wanna do this some more. I was researching the way I was prompting from ChatGPT and MidJourney made me feel like there was probably better tech tools that I could be using to go even faster. And through my research, I found this community of AI filmmakers. A lot of the filmmaking industry is now coming together with some AI people and they created a community called AI Filmmakers. 
and uh, it's been pretty freaking cool and I've been learning a lot and there's new skill sets out, man. There's new skill sets out. So keep your eyes open for any AI film news because this shit is super fun. If you're interested in the video, I'm going to play it at the end of this. Click play or keep watching. But this is the funny little skit I did. It took me about an hour. Enjoy. Mayday, mayday. Man, I really wish I listened to Captain Bob back there. What did he say? I don't know, I wasn't listening. 